Power Game of We Are Change Connecticut, WeAreChangeCT.org, and this is Truth Talk News. It is said that what you don't know won't hurt you. That, of course, is a myth, because many of the things that the vast majority of Americans and people of the world are unaware of can certainly cause them harm. Between the fluoride, the geoengineering, putting barium, strontium, and aluminum in the atmosphere, uh, GMO food, and now genetically modified insects. So genetically modified insects are set for release. The idea is to release a large number of GM olive flies to kill off wild pests that damage crops as an alternative to chemical pesticides. Incredible. Um, so they plan to release these male olive flies that would naturally mate with females, ultimately resulting in the death of the female offspring of the larvae or maggot stage. Ugh, nasty. Well, again, there's the uh, fact that the ultimately resulting in the death of the female offspring. So it's a sterilizing, or in this case, a deadly genetically modified weapon. It's a bioweapon to protect plants. Our approach is aimed at not only controlling the olive fly, but also to avoid harming other species. By using our form of genetic sterility, our flies are designated Excuse me, our flies are designed to eliminate the pest and not stay in the environment. This is the company Oxitec, their Dr. Martha Kukado. So what does this mean for animals that eat these flies as part of their routine diet? Well, what about the humans that then eat these animals? Plans to commercialize GM insects would result in millions of GM insects being released into crops including olives, tomatoes, citrus fruits, cabbages, and cotton. Millions of GMO mosquitoes have already been released in experiments intended to reduce transmission of the tropical disease, dengue fever. Did you know that? Did you know that Bill Gates says that people are resistant to taking of course, vaccines? Now, malaria is by mosquitoes. Uh, I brought some here so you could uh, experience this. We'll let, I mean, let those roam around the... Uh, Auditorium and little scientists, bit. psychopaths. Um, it's out of control. And nobody's doing anything. Nobody's aware of it. Regulatory decisions on GM insects in Europe and around the world are being biased by corporate interests in the UK biotech company Oxitec, who's infiltrated decision making processes around the world. The company has close links to the multinational pesticide and seed company, Syngenta. Oxitec has already made large-scale open releases of GM mosquitoes in the Cayman Islands, Malaysia, and Brazil, and is developing GM agricultural pesticides uh, jointly with Syngenta. The public will be shocked to learn that GM insects can be released into the environment without any proper oversight. Conflicts of interest should be removed from all decision-making processes to ensure the public have a proper say about these plans, says Dr. Helen Wallace, director of GeneWatch UK. The use of GM technologies is controversial. Some organizations such as GeneWatch UK and EcoNexus fear the reliance on high-tech solutions like genetic modification to drax for more effective but poorly deployed measures to combat the harm caused by insects. So what you don't know can hurt you. Don't be sheeple, people. Be the change you wish to see in the world. Go to wearechangect.org. I'm Howard Nima. Thank you for watching Truth Talk News, where news the mainstream media ignores is the top story. For more truth, subscribe to Freedom First Films on YouTube and Truth Talk News on Livestreams.com.